Hey folks, how's it going? Welcome to My Virgin Kitchen, it's Barry here. Today is our second video in hot dog month. We are making a vegan hot dog. Shiver me timbers, let's do it. Alrighty then, you're probably wondering why the Queen is in uh, my kitchen. Well basically, if you follow me on Twitter, you already know why and you guys loved it. Um, when you're filming on your own, it's hard to focus at distance, so uh, she helps me with that now, so I can zoom in on her, focus on her and all that stuff, and then put her to one side like that. But um, we can't call her the Queen, I guess that's kind of copyright, might get me in trouble, beheaded and all that stuff. Maybe not, so she needs a nickname, maybe Roof. Something like that. Let me know down below any suggestions. Vegan slash vegetarian recipes. I've got a playlist up here and there's a link down below. I'm a meat eater. I love steak, I love chicken, pork, all that stuff. But whenever I make vegetarian stuff, it blows my mind. And I'm hoping these will today and that you give it a go too. Uh, the ingredients, I haven't stopped doing this. Um, one of you guys mentioned that. I haven't stopped, um, I just forgot in the last video. Hit pause on the video now, write down all the ingredients. Let's get cracking. Alrighty, you already see I've made the guacamole. It's fresh and so quick and simple to make. Uh, basically combining together all the guacamole ingredients in a bowl. So the avocado, the coriander, uh, the chopped chili, lime juice, and also grated carrot, which is optional. Just gives it a bit more color in there. Beat it all through together until you've got a nice thick, chunky guac and just simply keep it in the fridge, which is what I'm gonna do right now. In the last uh, hot dog recipe, I did the pulled pork hot dog. You'll see that I toasted my buns. I did that exactly the same already. So this is toasted, but that's a wholemeal bun today, just to bear in mind. So uh, toast your buns, optional. All right, so into our bowl uh, goes our sweet corn. Oh yes, massive mound of sweet corn. The chickpeas, uh, which I've mostly drained off. Pretty good there. I used to have uh, a subscriber that messaged me from time to time that is obsessed with chickpeas, and I know she'll be watching this video. It tends to just be, she'll only watch chickpea videos, so hey. How's it going? Let's just uh, get the red chili in there as well. Oh yes, a little bit of kick. Goes the cumin. I'm gonna go for like a good, maybe like two teaspoons of that. I really wanna get some flavor in there. And about the equal amount in smoked paprika as well. Loving that color contrast, that's pretty cool. And just to lubricate it a little bit, uh, some lime juice. Oh, yeah. And a little bit of zest as well, why not? And thinking about it, I should have done that before I squeeze the juice because it's a bit harder. So uh, get the zest in before you get the juice in. Remember folks, I'm self-taught, hence the name My Virgin Kitchen. I was a virgin in the kitchen. Loads of people ask me that and Google it for the wrong reasons. So if I can make this, you definitely can. We're gonna mush this up now. Wow! Your eyes are not deceiving you. I started to mash in this bowl and uh, it's way too small. So I'm getting this enormous salad bowl. And to be honest as well, to save time, if you've got a food blender, just whiz it up. But I wanted to show you like the manual way, okay? So we're just gonna press this all together, get it all nice and combined before adding the flour to help thicken the mixture up. Oh yeah. I tell you what, it's a hell of a workout. I'm gonna have one enormous arm and then one teeny one. I'd be like, yeah, check out the guns on this arm. Not that arm, okay? Just that arm. All right then folks, I'm just adding in, that's about a tablespoon of flour there. We're gonna add it in gradually. I'm really happy uh, with the texture in there. It's kind of moist, a bit emotional, all that stuff. But adding the flour in, it's just gonna thick it up. So I'm using a metal spoon just to work it all around, get it gripped together. Might need about another two tablespoons of that. So I'll let you know, in fact, you already do know in the ingredients, the full amount we're gonna need. I'm really happy with that texture. Now that was three tablespoons, although it does kind of like tuna mayonnaise. It's a lot more uh, moldable, if that makes sense. So I can definitely shape it. It's got to go in the fridge anyway. So what I'm gonna do is start to shape it and then we'll do one quick fridge and then shape it again to get our hot dog shape. I've just spread a good tablespoon of the mixture onto some cling film and just sort of uh, worked it out like this. Uh, it's on some cling film, as I say. So what we're gonna do is bring it over like so and just press it down a little bit. Do, do, do. And I'm just gonna keep rolling it to try and get the shape. Way. And this in itself, a tablespoon of that mixture, can you see how long that is? That is gonna be enough for two hot dogs. So what I'm gonna do, get it nice and even, put it in the fridge initially, and then when it comes out, just before it's nice and firmed up, before we're gonna cook it, I'm gonna remold it again to get that shape. Mm, just a rag. All right then folks, I've got my pan on. There's a little bit of oil in there, just enough to submerge it. We're going for that nice sort of fake tan look. I've taken my sausage, well hey, uh, out of the freezer and I've actually got some uh, flame flour just to roll it and hold that shape a little bit. I'm gonna sit it in the pan like so. Here we go. For that first bit, you wanna cook it, make sure the bottom bit is starting to firm up well before you roll it, otherwise it could all fall apart. So just keep your eye on it. You can see it's uh, starting to brown a little bit there and then we'll start moving it around. All right, so just roll that over so you can see the colors change slightly. Gives me enough now to cook the bottom side of it and then I'm gonna keep it moving all the way around until it's nice and golden brown. I'm really happy with that color there. I've got three more to cook up. I'm gonna rest it on some kitchen towel right here 
and we'll bring it all together. So I've got the toasted wholemeal roll there. I've made an incision to make a gap down it and I'm actually just pushing the guacamole as far into it as I can to make it a little bit wider for that opening and a nice big bed to sit our dog in. So in goes that dog. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna give some more guacamole loving around the edges here. Let's get that all out down there. Push it right down. Oh yes, absolutely loving that. I've fully loaded it. And right here, I've got some uh, different colored tomatoes. I've got um, some yellow and red. So I'm just gonna wrap them in there. Oh my gosh, it kind of looks like a traffic light. You've got the red, green, yellow there, looking good, loving it. Uh, these are some sliced uh, mushrooms that I cooked up earlier in a pan. So it's gonna scatter those on top. Alrighty, those mushrooms on there, looking amazing. Uh, one last thing, I asked Mrs. Barry, I wasn't sure, uh, do vegans have barbecue sauce? I just checked the ingredients, you do. So we're gonna give it a good lacing of barbecue sauce, up and down like that. Oh my goodness, check that out. Little picture for social media. Boom chicka wow wow. And let's get Mrs. Barry for a taste test. Mm. You like it? Yeah, I do. Explain really what good. it tastes like. Like lime. Like a lime. Like a lime. <laughs> Just a lime. I mean, it tastes really nice. Refresh it is. She's got, she got a little barbecue moustache going on as well. Um, and you just got some on my face. Amazing. That's it in guys. Really hope you try the recipe out. Give us a go. Send me a picture at My Virgin Kitchen. Let me know down below any more recipe suggestions for hot dog month. And um, see you next time. I think she likes it. <laughs>